Hello, in this video we're going to show you how to reset the username, email or even password on a locally installed copy of WordPress using the WAMP server in this case. Uh, check out the other video for how you do this on a public server. The principles are the same. So uh, I think I know that the username is admin, um, but I seem to be having problems remembering the password, and I hadn't saved the password in my RoboForm password software. So I need to get to the uh, PHP MyAdmin or the MySQL admin, which allows me access to the databases so that I can make changes by hand. So I need to use show hidden icons to find the icon for the WAMP server and then to left click the mouse and choose PHP my admin. Now if you've lost the password to the admin then you're even more in trouble but uh, hopefully you remember that and in the case of WAMP the default password is username root and password blank. So I'll just hit go and that should get me into the admin. And it does. Now for WAMP server there are a set of databases which the system needs. Information schema, MySQL and performance schema are always there for PHP. Sys is extra for WAMP so that leaves me with two more databases left. And I believe WAMP 101 is my server I want. And I can check this by having a look in the options table. If I click on the options table, the first couple of entries will tell me the site URL and the name of the blog site. And that is, yep, that's what I want, 101. So that's fantastic. So that's the right database. And the next thing I need to do is have a look at the users. So the WP users <coughs> is the table with the users in it. Um, you could have tables with uh, something else before the users could be anything but uh, this is the default of WP users and this is going to be easy because look there's only one user on this system at the moment so we can choose edit to edit the user and I can see that this is user number one and their user login is admin so I got that right and their email address is test at test.com it's a completely fictitious email address so if I wanted it to send me a um, a reset your email uh, message obviously I'd need to change that to um, an email address that I can receive like um, info at WP Business Club and then at least I have a chance of receiving the email also have the display name I may want to change and you can see the password here now the password is encrypted so if I change this password here to even um, let me in and then save that everything else is going to be changed but that password let me in is not the password that is the encrypted solution to the password so if I try and let me in which at least is more unique than password it's not going to let me in because it wants to unencrypt let me in to produce the password name now if you want to change the password you need to give it the encrypted version of the password so we need to edit and then for password we need to choose in the functions MD5 and that will do the encryption for us now if we do MD5 let me in here you can see user password it is encrypting the let me in 
and now if we go back to login again and admin type let me in we are going to gain access so there we are so if you want to change any of the information on the users click on the edit button and you can change everything you like but if you want to change the password as you can see it's now this is now the password field you have to use the function md5 to encrypt whatever text you want to put in there and then hit go and now the password's admin so if I now log out it will be in my default local files yep of admin admin and I'll have it remembered now because that's what it's going to stay as so there we are please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it thumbs down if you think I can do better don't forget to add your comment and make sure you're subscribed to the channel thank you for watching for more info visit wpbusinessclub.com